two and then the uh, photo. Right. Okay. Thank you. If I don't come back in like two hours. I'll go with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, here I am in it's gonna be sunny later on, San Diego. Uh, it's early, crack of dawn, but crack of dawn in the morning, but that's me. I'm an early bird. And I'm walking around looking for some some vegan breakfast. Here we go. California for a sports event and um, I'm gonna go get breakfast oh my God, so good yesterday I had, well day before yesterday I had the um, tortilla soup and a vegan carne asada mm -hmm. so now I gotta see what they have for breakfast I know it's something good so walk with me through the streets of San Diego. I'm on my way to Parakeet Cafe. Okay, it's a little chilly uh, out here. A little more chilly than I'm prepared for. And I'm debating, uh, I'm debating walking back up to get my jacket, but I actually don't feel like getting back on the elevator. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna walk because the walking is gonna let my heart rate go up and my body temp will go up and maybe that'll be what keeps me warm. So yes, um, it, do I have the right of way? Oh, hold on. Ooh, car's coming. Yes, I do or do not have the right of way. I'm not sure. Oh my God, no, I didn't. They just rolled through that light. There's nothing coming, I'll go. Jaywalking! <laughs> so I love San Diego for a lot of reasons. Obviously the weather, the beach, um, the scenery. Only thing I don't love about it is um, the homelessness I'm just watching out for that uh, while I walk and talk walk and talk with me yes I'm going to parakeet cafe to find breakfast so I'm on my way in it's gonna be sunny later on San Diego uh, it's early crack of dawn but crack of dawn in the morning but that's me I'm an early bird and I'm walking around looking for some some vegan breakfast I already know where to go because I found this place um, to have lunch day before yesterday and they had the best vegan tortilla soup with um, vegan carne asada. Oh my god, it was oyster mushrooms um, seasoned carne asada style. So freaking good. And I'm going back for more. Uh, I saw some breakfast menu items that um, look like a must try to me. So here I am, oh my god, walking the streets of Little Italy in San Diego on my way to Parakeet Cafe for some vegan breakfast. Only thing I have to watch out for is 
where I step. <laughs> you just never know. Streets of San Diego. You This is the Little Italy Plaza, and that's where I'm headed. Here I come. Oh, so good. Oh, I'm on the menus. The name made it look interesting and it's vegan so so that and then I got a mushroom um, latte with reishi and I had a substitute almond milk so obviously and I got the house almond milk so apparently that sweetened with something I think it might be dead I'll ask about that and then I got tofu with roasted potatoes so this is such a cool spot. Um, it's empty right now. I'm the, one of the only people in here right now. So the food should be quick. Um, now I'm just waiting for my vegan breakfast at Arakeet Cafe. So the, the chai latte is here. And it's not just any chai latte. It's a mushroom chai latte. It is. Uh, I'm gonna try this.
some sun peeking through the clouds just like I thought it's been nice um, since, since I've been here and again I'm here for the Rady Children's Invitational Tournament which my son's team is playing in <clears throat> he's at University of Oklahoma they're still in the middle of their non-conference season schedule so they did this invitational in San Diego, California, and I'm like, uh, San Diego on Thanksgiving? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, San Diego's always a good idea. I'm stealing that from the from the banner, the pop-up banner in the uh, Hyatt downtown. It's good marketing, really good marketing. So now, because even though it's Black Friday, I'm still working. I'm going back to the hotel and get back behind the computer because I got work to do <clears throat> before the tournament, which is happening at 12 Pacific time. So I'm going to take an Uber over there. It's happening in La Jolla. You know, I always debate <clears throat> renting a car versus doing Uber while I'm traveling and the cost it's always a hit or miss, right, with the cost because sometimes um, the cost of the rental car can be less than the number amount of Uber trips that you take. And so I do usually rent a car, but I got um, I got a little nervous <clears throat> renting in San Diego because those West Coast rental cars, you have to take out a 401k loan to be able to afford the rental car so I took my chances but I'm sure I'm racking up these uber fees so we'll see total it total total it all out at the end and see how I did um now I'm gonna have to take an uber to La Jolla and back that's gonna add up hmm. so Sure it'll be fine though. Today's the championship game. And OU plays U plays um USC. That happens to be the team that LeBron James now plays on. So we saw him. <laughs> we saw him walk in with the team yesterday. That's like these kids. It's so it's so surreal. It's like, yep. Yeah. But I've been seeing LeBron James son. <laughs> for a number of years, right? AAU, all of that. It's such a small world. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, I'm so grateful. Grateful for this time, grateful to be in San Diego. 
um, new chapter, <laughs> new phase, new chapter. Here it is. Empty nester life. I'm living it. Oh, so I had that latte at the at the cafe, but I forgot to get water, and I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna walk to CVS and get get two <clears throat> 20 ounce bottles of water if I can find them it's better than um, asking for a bottle of water in the hotel because those are always like $5 per bottle and I'm not about that life so I'm walking I think I mapped it oh ooh, and I left my phone too uh, I'm after though. I know where the CBS is. So I'm gonna run over here real quick and get some water and then I can come back and get to work. I got three hours of productivity that I need to manage before I have to Uber to the game. So here we go. Let's see if there's any staff who can confirm. Uh, no, there's not. I don't have my phone with me, but I think I know where the CVS is. I'm gonna ask. Hi, is it, isn't it a CVS right up here on this corner? It's the other way. Oh, it's this way? Yeah, so where, how do I go? I know it's past the light. On the second street, you turn right. Okay. I mean, you can ride in one of them. It's close. It's like one line mass or maybe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we know it's that way, but I don't know like, which street you turn. Okay. I, I left my phone in the room and I just don't feel like going back up there. Yes, we're going to go one, two, mm -hmm. and then one, two, three, four. Over. So up and then... Yeah, up two and then uh, four to one. Right, okay. Thank you. If I don't come back in like two hours... I'll go with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. This is living on the edge. I'm walking without my phone. Okay. Oh, look, there's a... I could probably go straight to this. Oh. See, that's what I mean. Like, these streets in San Diego is not for the weak. <laughs> it's real pretty here, but... Um, it ain't no walk in the park. <laughs> it's like homeless people everywhere. And I have the utmost respect. I hate to comment because you just never know. Some people choose that life and it gives them a level of autonomy. And so it's not necessarily a negative thing for them. It's more of a choice. But then that sounds insensitive because people are literally living on the streets without resources. So how can you glorify that at all? It's a, it's a total dilemma. That's why I like talking about it because I just don't know. Um, which angle to come at it from. I don't really know um, how I feel about it anyway. So tip really teeth skits everywhere. And I'm about to walk past the row of teeth. So maybe I should have just gone to her. Hello. I probably should have just gone to a convenience store right across the street, which I didn't know was there until after I asked for instructions to the CVS, and I didn't want to <laughs> waste that guy's time that he took to look up the directions and then tell me, and then I just go across the street to the convenience store. It's like, one day I'm just not going to care. <laughs> That'll be level five of ex-people pleaser. Right now, I'm just on like tier two. Like my people pleasing days are over, but I'm still a considerate person. So Jesus, I hope I make it to this CBS and back.
I made it to the CVS. <clears throat> See, these are the deals I need right here. Buy one smart water and get the other one 50% off. So, yes, this is what I need right here. Nothing else. Get these waters and then be done with it. So I did find the H-E-B. And I got my water, my CVS bag, and I'm on my way back. The situation in, the, in California is that when you get a bag, when you get plastic bags, you have to pay 10 cents for them. And in any other case, I would not, I would, would have opted for no bag, um, especially if I was driving, but I, I'm walking right now. And um, I couldn't carry those two. I got two, uh, two big bottles of water for today and so. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, I needed a bag to carry them, and so they charged me 10 cents. And uh, because of the way I asked, the guy was like, well, where are you from? And I was like, oh, I'm from Texas. And they were like, oh, oh we bet you don't do that there. You don't charge for bags there, do you? I was like, huh. no, not really. Only at certain certain stores like Sprouts. Um, they don't, they use paper bags at Whole Foods, but I was gonna say, you see guess that Whole Foods does charge for bags but they don't because they use paper bags but anyway we do have some places that are more environmentally conscious and so I, was, I told the guys like some our main stores don't really do it like stores like H-E-B or Fiesta <laughs> and he just looked at me with a blank stare he's like um I don't know what those stores are <laughs> and I always say H-E-B like everybody's gonna know what H-E-B is He's like, what, does H-E-B stand for something? And I was like, yes. Yeah, but their tagline is, um, here, everything is better, which I agree. I love H-E-B. I think all Texans would agree, like H-E-B is. It's one of the better grocery stores. Um, and I have to remember that they don't really go regionally outside of Texas. It's just such a, H-E-B is a big part of my life, honestly. Um, so I just assume that everybody else knows what H-E-B is. Um, but anyway, right now they don't charge you 10 cent for a bag, which I'm starting to think if they really want to be better, they need to be more environmentally conscious and start charging us for those bags. And then, then and only then, we need to be more cognizant of bringing our reusable grocery bags, doing our part, um, to protect the environment <laughs> you see what happens when you travel and you like get different perspectives and you start to think about more about what's going on in your own life that's all I'm saying okay so now I'm getting back to the this intersection where I need to pay attention and I need to focus on my surroundings so hold on yesterday this line is so far down all right hopefully this goes fast hello, hello. <laughs> the line wasn't this long yesterday oh was there, oh, was there a tournament yesterday as well oh well, yeah it was a game one oh, okay. yeah game one was yesterday yeah 
the Oklahoma first game, huh? Yeah. What? A 6 2 junior from Fort Myers, Florida, number two, Javian McCollum. A 6 5 sophomore from Newark, New Jersey, number three, Otago Owen. A 6 10 senior from India, Oklahoma, number 10, Sam Gottwin. A 6 4 sophomore from Las Vegas, Nevada, number 12, Milos Yuzan. A 6'7 junior for Birmingham, Alabama, number 14, Jalen Moore. And introducing the Sooners honorary team captain representing Team Brady, let's welcome Karen. The head coach for the Sooners is Porter Moser, assistant coaches Cliff Custer, Armin Gates, Ryan Humphrey, Brock Morris, and Paul Jesper. Oh my God, yes, and they pulled it. 